Welcome to Celebrating Act Two. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome back to Celebrating Act Two with myself, Art Kirsch, and my partner, John. Well, good morning, Art. And uh, by the way, for everybody who's watching, uh, Art and I are the co-founders of Celebrating Act Two. And Art, I've got to start this off with a question for you. Who's the guy in the middle? <laughs> Funny you should ask. Uh, it is Funny fun. you should ask. The guy in the middle is some guy I met on LinkedIn through a mutual friend of ours, Tim Keenan. Oh, really? And it was some guy who had a, a title called Embrace the Boom. And I didn't know whether he was a test pilot or <laughs> he was one of us. It turns out he was sort of one of us. So anyway, John, that's who our guest is to, today, Bill Jordan. Uh, hey, Bill. Who founded Embrace the Boom and is uh, kind of, well, you'll decide for yourself. Well, thank you, guys. I, I haven't heard uh, who's the guy in the middle since the last time I appeared in a police lineup. <laughs> so that was uh, that was refreshing. That was last week, I think, yeah. It's not, not too far in the distant past. <laughs> well, Bill, welcome, and thank, thank you. Um, what is Embrace the Boom? Now, Art's told me a lot about it, but I want to hear it from the creator's point of view. Okay. Uh, well, for me, is Embrace the Boom, meaning as I've gotten older, and I turned 65 last July, I hear a lot of my contemporaries, and I think they do it just because it's a cliche thing to do. They complain about getting older, and I understand that there are now challenges about getting older that, you know, I, people, people will tell you that they're at 25, I'm going to turn 25, I'm getting old. <laughs> and my, my barometer for that is when you start hurting yourself in your sleep, <laughs> that's when you know you're getting older you know when I get up in the morning and my right knee ain't working you know this was fine seven eight hours ago I hurt myself in my sleep when you've got to start doing warm-up exercises and stretches before you sleep then you know you're getting a little bit older but for me I heard so much again I think cliched negativity about getting older I just I thought that was the wrong mindset uh, there are things that I have benefited from by getting older um, I have two grandkids. I wouldn't have gotten them when I was 30 years old, I don't think. No, I wouldn't have done that. So there are advantage to, advantages to this time of our lives. Whether you're still working full-time or semi-retired, like I consider myself, or fully retired, I think there's still advantages, and there are ways to think about that, that in my 15 practices, uh, what I call uh, for Embrace the Boom, um, there are ways of thinking that I wish I had known when I was 16 years old. So that's my goal is to empower, encourage, and inspire my fellow baby boomers. I mean, we were born to and raised by members of our nation's greatest generation. You bet. And you bet. Uh, I think we owe them to live the best life we can. Well, speaking of that, um, Bill, uh, in addition to being uh, uh, on uh, LinkedIn, you're also on Facebook and other places. And on Facebook, you seem to come up with these witticisms, speaking of World War II, of uh, if you're going through hell, don't stop. Uh, yeah, if you're going through hell, keep going. Yeah, that's the kind yeah. of stuff that you're, you're, you're talking about, right? Well, there, uh, if you guys remember uh, Coach Jim Valvano from NC State University, basketball coach, uh, he famously said, you know, if you can laugh, think, and cry every day, that's a heck of a day. If you do that every day, you're going to have an incredible life. So what I try to do with my posts on whether it be Twitter or Facebook, LinkedIn, is try to make someone either think, laugh, or cry. Because our emotions are what makes us know we're alive, you know? So I think that's a, a good essence for any kind of a storytelling uh, is laugh, think, cry. So that's what drives me on what I, I post. So yeah, and I've always loved motivational quotes and uh, inspiring quotes, uh, and that's I pass a lot of that along. But I also uh, try to do humorous stuff, whether it be out of my own life or I'll rip it off somebody else. You know, you know hey, you're not the, proud. <laughs> the old line in radio used to be, "Hey, if you steal from me, you've stolen at least twice." Um, <laughs> But another a buddy of mine who uh, was in radio and was part of uh, one of the downsizing 
movements, of which we've just had another major bloodletting in the radio business. Uh, thousands of people have lost their jobs in the last week or two. Uh, it's that once you leave radio, social media, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, what have you, Instagram, they're, they're just, it's just another transmitter. Sure. We, we spent our entire career being content creators. We didn't know what that was back in the day. Now a big thing to hang on somebody is they're a content creator. Well, I think we kind of all are. I just tend to share them. Whether people want to know them or not, I mean, I get a lot of people say, hey, man, you got too much time in your hands. You post so much on Facebook. Don't you wish you had too much time on your hands? Yeah. Hey, it's great that the uh, technology has come along just at the time when we need it, right? So exactly. we're not dependent on the big networks. Uh, we can do our own podcasts. We can do our own celebrating act two. Uh, sure. So I'm in, the, I, I'm in the Raleigh area. So I'm in the Raleigh area. And I was on last on a radio station, 100,000 watts. I mean, we got up to uh, Virginia. We got to the coast of North Carolina. We got to Charlotte upon occasion if the wind was blowing the right way. But you think about the internet. I mean, it's the world. It is sure. the world wide web. So. Um, I realize, I mean, everybody, everybody's getting podcasts now and all that stuff. There is, if there is anything that you are interested in, you can find a, a podcast or a YouTube channel or a LinkedIn profile that is right up your alley. Well, I love, uh, Bill, I love the positive aspect of your message. Uh, what made you, uh, and, and quite frankly, one of the things that attracted me to your uh, uh, Facebook page is the fact that it's very similar in goals to celebrating act two. Our goal is to be the user guide for the rest of your life, second half of your life. And our whole purpose is to enjoy life, show you how to enjoy life, inspire you to uh, go out and have fun. There's no question about it. And again, as I, as I talk about, uh, and I, you know, that's another one of those quotes, never regret going, growing older. It's a, it's a privilege denied to many. Yeah. And so, I mean, what are you going to do? Is somebody... um, so, Bill, I, I'm sorry, Bill, you you have 17,000 followers on uh, Facebook alone. How'd that happen? Oh, ex excuse me. It's all right. <laughs> no, go How'd ahead. Yeah. How'd, How'd you get them? Happen? All right. So when I left uh, radio. Yeah, we're jealous. <laughs> back in back uh, when I left the radio in March of 2013, so coming up on seven years, I had a, a, a public Facebook page through the radio station, and I had about 1,300 followers at that time. And I decided on the day I walked out of the station, I would just keep a public page, not knowing what life would present. Maybe I'd get back into radio. Maybe I'd become a writer. Maybe I, I don't know what I would do, but I still had this base of you know, 13, 1400 people following me that seemed to like the content that I had already put out. So just a, a matter of consistency of every day, and again, according to some far too often every day, posting content that I hope is relatable to uh, what turns out as far as my diagnostics go, I mean, most of the people who follow me are over 50. Yeah. Not all, but most are. Thank so you, just kinda, I've just kind of kept that going and it has just grown. Whether I post a, something that's very popular and then it's shared and then people find me that way. But it's just been, you know, it's the key like anything to success is consistency. If you are consistent or if you're persistent, you'll get it. If you're consistent, you'll keep it. So Bill, you, you were in radio, professional DJ, personality, whatever the term is, for close to 40 years as I understand yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. And you just decided you've had enough. 40 years is enough. After all, firemen retire after 20 years. Well, they've got a little <laughs> more wear and tear on their bodies than I sure did. But... I don't know. But that knee you talked about uh, when uh, you wake up. Yeah. The uh, I, I woke, woke up, up one morning, morning in October of 2012. And I would get up at the alarm would go off 315, 320. And my feet hit the floor and I turned and I looked at the cable box. You know, it's got that digital clock on it. And it said 320. And for the first time in my career, I thought, what am I doing? I had done it for over half, as mornings, I had done for over half of my life at getting up at that hour. And then it just, it really truly got to where, and it was nothing personal about anybody. It just got to where when I pulled into the parking lot, I just wasn't fired up like I used to be. Yeah. You know? So, um, 
I fortunately I'd worked for a company that had 401ks and all that stuff and I had invested for 20 plus years so um, you know the old thing of if you're not happy doing what you're doing make a change yeah nothing, but you did nothing, nothing changes if you don't so I had the ability to do that I, I was gonna say you didn't really retire though you just changed careers I, I yeah, get the I'm sense saying, that you didn't know that you were changing careers. right I never said I never said retired I've never said retired uh, the radio station announced that I was retiring Local newspaper said it. Local TV said it. Nobody and, and people still say, "How's retirement?" I, I'm not retired. Right. You know, I, I don't. I don't know if I would ever just sit back and you know sit on the beach. I don't. I think I got to do something. You know, I well, think, I think all of us. I think do. we're here for a reason. I don't know if anybody's reason. Everybody's different, but I don't think mine would be just sitting there doing nothing. So, what is your goal with with uh, uh, embrace the boom? Is it? Just to entertain and inspire, or do you have a? Is it a business? Uh, it's a very, very, very small business right now. I I, I did put out these guys. In fact, I got to send you one, John. Uh, embrace the boom mug, which if I do I point out some of these features, by the way, this is not a coffee cup. This is a mug. This is not a usual little eleven ounce. This is a full fifteen ounce mug. It is printed in bold on both sides. That yeah, shout, way, it sort of uh, shouts at you. And yeah, expensive. Well, <laughs> and it shouts at you, but you also you don't need your reading glasses to read it. And as I'm <laughs> drinking from it, if I'm drinking from it, somebody across the way will see that, and maybe they will say, "What does that even mean? Embrace the boom," and that gives you a, an opportunity to uh, spread the word and all that stuff. So, so by anyway, the way, John, okay. John initially thought you were a test pilot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no. no. So, uh, so, I, I, so a question for you. You're a radio guy, okay? Really good radio guy, and you're doing videos. What's that all about? You know, I never thought I would do it. I never thought. This is, this is, this is a wild thing. After I left, shortly after I left, I went up to my hometown of Newport News, Virginia, and I had uh, like a brunch with my cousin Karen and her husband and my wife was with me and we were sitting there talking and she she said you know what I think you're gonna be on YouTube and I said there is no way I'm gonna do videos no way and now she sees me doing videos on YouTube so you've got your own YouTube channel yeah embrace the boom go to embrace the boom I've got a few subscribers but I have came up with these 15 practices and I explain on the video why do I call them practices? I could have called them rules, uh, but you know I, I'm a big fan of uh, the CBS show NCIS. I don't know if you guys watch that. Yeah. yeah. Mark Harmon's character Leroy Jethro Gibbs has a list of rules, and they often we love that he has these rules. And I said, well, I don't want it to be rules, and I don't want it to be uh, maxims. I want them to be. And then it dawned on me practices because they all take practice. They may sound simple, but they're not easy. And the, also the analogy I give you of is somebody gets out of law school, they start their business, it is called a law practice. 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 Somebody gets out of medical school, they, they hang up there, you know, they, they open up their office, they start their medical practice. practice yeah. So if these guys are practicing and they're working on me, uh, <laughs> uh, why not consider these practices? Because they really do for me. I've got to circle back to them and I fall off. I mean, every day, you know, at the end of the day, I'm like, okay, I did not stay calm today or I got my nose in somebody else's business. Yeah. That well, that's, my that's my favorite right there. It's number 14, by the way, is today's a great day to mind your own business. Where well, you actually, that one? actually, I put it as it's a great day to mind my own business. Oh, okay. It, I, don't, I don't try to take people to task about mind your own business. But I do try to remember to remind my own business. In fact, I wrote it down before we uh, talked. Marcus Aurelius, again, one of these guys, ancient Rome, used to be an, he was an emperor. I mean, he's a pretty yeah. incredible you, resume. You knew him, right? Yeah. Yeah. We played together. We played uh, dodgeball together. So, uh, except they used stones back then. It was tough. <laughs> um, Marcus Aurelius said, you know, to live a great life, we have the capacity for it if we learn to be indifferent to that which makes no difference. Say that again. We, we can live a great life if we learn to be indifferent Different. about that That's which what? makes no difference. no difference. Great. And cool. so does what if my neighbors bought a, a BMW for me to sit here and go, how can they afford that? What did they, you know, what, it, who cares? Yeah. I don't know. 
So how much time do I spend worrying about somebody else's business? That's all. You know, that's kind of what that gets at. Very inspirational and good advice. Good advice. And you need to practice it more, Bill. There's no question. Every single one of them I need to, because I'll never perfect them. Do you have a, a favorite? My favorite is Calm is Contagious and a Superpower. And that one by far has gotten more response than any of the others I've done. Uh, you know, if you guys have ever been to a comedy club, have you ever been to a comedy club? Oh, like boy, have I, yeah. Okay, so the way they do it here at the big comedy club in Raleigh is they basically shoehorn everybody in. You've got a table the size of a paper plate. You can get two drinks and a potato chip on there. And they've got everybody in there and you're packed you know, I'm sure not past fire department uh, guidelines, but you're packed in there. And why is that? Because laughter is contagious. One person starts laughing, you're so glad, you, everybody just starts laughing. But the point is, all emotion is contagious. Someone gets in your face, starts screaming at you, your natural inclination is to start yelling back. But the one that is a superpower is calmness. Wow. So if you can stay calm, <laughs> somebody else is going off on you and you can stay calm, first of all, that drives them nuts. May not be a good practice. <laughs> but, but if you can stay calm, I mean, I have caught myself at just, you know, in fact, I'll, sometimes I'm just driving around town and I'm at a stoplight and I go calm, calm, you know, calm is a superpower. Work with my breathing, slow my breathing down. Guys, I... Uh, I'm not trying to brag, but I think this has something to do with it. One, leaving radio. Two, my dad, before he passed away, lived with us for a while, and I took his blood pressure reading every day. And so he kept a blood pressure cup after he passed. I, I still had that. But I got into a habit of taking my blood pressure. I don't have blood I don't have blood pressure problems, but I just take them. And you know, I'm 65 years old. It's not too unusual for me to hit like 115 over 75. And I'm not on any meds. Hmm. So I think okay, part of that is the great. calmness and, and working on my breathing. You know, I've read several things about we forget about how to breathe. And that yeah. sounds silly because we're all living. But if you take a deep breath and even into your belly and slow that, it's called box breathing, for example, and you can Google it. But like you take a deep breath for four seconds, hold it for four, let it out for four, leave it out for four and start over again. You can't help but calm down. If you do take your own blood pressure, take it then just slow breathe for three minutes. Take it again and I'll bet you it goes down. Yeah, yeah. Great wisdom, Bill. Great I'm wisdom. telling you, calm is contagious and is a superpower. That by far is the, is the most popular practice I've got. So uh, why only 15 practices? Well, there's probably gonna be more. Um, oh, okay. Uh, that I would hope so. 15 to start, I mean, my Embrace the Boom uh, YouTube channel, there are gonna be other, other ones uh, to come along with it. In fact, I thought of one uh, just yesterday. I don't remember off the top of my head. I wrote it down it's in the other room, but but something to talk about. Um, I'm sorry, I can't I can't think of it on the fly. Um, but why is there? I mean, 50. I mean, if if I'm reviewing these every day, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to be able to review 50 practices. But I do try. But I do. I am going to be putting out videos on just you know maybe how to apply them. Uh, one of the things I've got, in fact. It, it's coming up. I haven't launched it on YouTube yet, but it's going to be within hours. Is expect the unexpected, and when possible, be the unexpected. So an example of that, one of my one of my big pet peeves is people when you go to the grocery store or whatever, and then they leave their shopping carts out. I don't know if they do that in California. Oh, oh yeah, everywhere. I, everywhere. Yeah, it's just and and uh, so I do. It does annoy me a great deal. But what I finally decided to do. If there's not too many, although I went to a Walmart the other day and there were four empty carts just all over the parking lot. Yeah. Well, I grabbed two of them and rolled them back. I thought there was some bad mojo to them, though, so I refused to use those, but I picked another cart. But instead of the, the unexpected to me in that case was I didn't just leave them there. Right. I, fixed, I fixed that problem. That's not yeah. a dig me, but I think if we all do that. So the unexpected is you see the problem. It's not your job, but you just you just do it. Maybe the unexpected... Pardon? Yeah, I, I was going to say it's like picking up a piece of trash on the street. I thought I thought maybe you were interviewing for a job at Walmart. You know, you get that that that, that fancy vest, and you can go collect cards. I mean, you're oh, really interviewing for jobs, aren't you? My wife has said that. You know, you could do that job. You mm -hmm. could you could you could. I don't I don't I don't want to do that job. 
So, uh, but you know, another case of being unexpected is if, it, for example, in Walmart or a grocery store or whatever, and I have a really helpful cashier, the unexpected thing to do would be to look at their name tag, get, you know, Denise, go over to the customer service desk, ask for the manager and tell them what great service you got that day. Yes. And then leave and then leave. And then hopefully the manager will tell them, and you've made probably two people's day doing that. Yeah. God bless you, Bill. That's terrific stuff. Well, thank you. Hey, I have a question for you, Bill. Where can somebody get your mug and see your videos? That's well, for me. I need a mug. Oh, you, he uh, needs a mug. John, I'm, I'm going to be sending you a mug. I sent Art one. No, 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 no. Where no, can no, people no. buy mugs? Yeah. Okay, oh, not I where know. you can send I, mugs. I'm just telling you. So, John, you can buy a mug from Art. Uh, <laughs> Again, here it is. Yeah. Uh, here it I, is. Eat I, your heart out. I snooze. I jacks up the price. That's the problem. You know, right. they say you snooze, you lose. I actually went to uh, uh, GoDaddy or whatever, and I and I did a search on Embrace the Boom. And initially, when I did that, I could buy the domain for like thirty bucks. Uh, and then I waited too long after I got this rolling, and somebody had snagged it, and it was going to cost a thousand. Yeah. Yeah, John. So, John, I think a so thousand was a little too high. <laughs> well, we'll see how it goes. I may, I may still get that. But anyway, in the meantime, Bill Jordan and Jordan spelled like my cousin Michael, uh, J O R D A N. Bill Jordan, embrace the boom dot com, and that goes to my Shopify page. And you can buy the the mug and free shipping after you know three or more mugs, and uh, you, get free, you get free shipping. And I I package them here at home on my pool table upstairs. <laughs> Your little factory. I'm telling you what. I tell you, in December, that's exactly what it was. December was pretty big. A lot of people gave them as gifts. Sure, for Christmas, uh, yeah. Quite, uh, quite flattered by that. But again, it's sturdy. It's it's 15 ounces, and you can put coffee, tea, hot chocolate, uh, hot toddy, whatever you want. 15 ounces of it. I've got one friend I went to high school with. She puts her makeup brushes in it. <laughs> Well, you know what it's really good for, Bill. And then here's the here's the extra thing that I don't you know I don't like to brag about this, but if you hold it up to your ear, you can hear the ocean. Now this is the Atlantic. If you put it over here, you hear the Pacific. That's why. But be careful to empty out. I use it for paint because it's just the right amount of paint for a a, a door. Sure. So the only thing is you really want to empty out the paint before you listen to the ocean. I'm just saying. Well, it, here's the other thing too. You know, when people, the big thing used to be if you were going to stop smoking, you'd put a rubber band around your wrist and you'd All snap right. that if you wanted to smoke. So for me, this is a great way for me to begin my day because I drink a bunch of coffee first thing in the morning. And this is a great way for me to anchor myself in the mindset of embracing the boom and review all those practices. You know, if you, if you go out and charter a fishing boat, and the captain knows the hot spot. He uses his GPS and stuff, and he gets to that spot. What's the first thing he does? He drops an anchor. Right. If he doesn't drop the anchor, he will drift off that spot. He won't notice it, but he's drifting off that spot. And I think that's the same way we can be in anchoring our lives. If you anchor your morning in where you want to go, what you want to be, who you're going to be today, and what you're going to be like, I think you'll have a better life. Bill, great advice, and uh, I hope we can get back together again sometime soon because you've got you. 15 practices, and we only touch base on one or two of them. I'd now, like to hear more. Let me give you a little. I'm gonna give you a little tease on this. Number okay. 15 is, as I said, expect the unexpected, and when possible, be the unexpected. So maybe there is 15, and maybe there's not. Or maybe wow. there's 10 if you drop one of the tablets. <laughs> <laughs> Half a tablet. Half a tablet. <laughs> That's great. Uh, Bill, really appreciate it. Uh, we can see you on Facebook. Yeah, uh, it's uh, Facebook, Bill, Bill Jordan. Uh, there's, uh, there's, I use the same picture, actually, for my personal page, which I, I typically only friend people that you know I actually know, as yeah. silly as it may seem. Um, I have people get mad at me for that. Hey. Sorry, I guess I'm not your friend. Anyway... Uh, there's a black and white photo of me at a microphone, and that's my personal page. I have the same picture in color on my public page, and I would love for you to follow along, see, see what you like, and maybe share, and all that stuff.
It's Good. actually Follow a great. I, I enjoy following it on Facebook. Uh, and subscribe to you on subscribe on uh, YouTube. YouTube. It's it's embrace you know. the boom. Embrace the boom on YouTube, and you can subscribe to that channel, and you'll see all of the uh, practices that I post and some other content as well. Uh, you know, because I again, I'm a content creator. I've got to not uh, stop at 15. I got to keep yeah. pushing stuff out. Well, and I'm, and I'm this big wizard. I'm not this wizard. I'm and and please understand this. People think I'm, I'm trying to preach to them or something. Everything I talk about, please know I am talking primarily to this guy. Sure. I'm sure. talking to remind myself because I just want to, I just think I can get better. Well, we all do. We all need that same kind of thing. And good advice comes wherever you find it, you know? So I that's why I loved, I loved your, your uh, Facebook page. G great. Uh, Thank you. Great page, great to watch every day. Um, Art and I come from the world of uh, media, of television production, and uh, I know that you are, as you said, you're not retired. You still do voiceovers as a radio guy, and you've obviously got the voice and the personality. Where is where do we find your voiceover? Let's say Art needs That's to do a commercial. BillJordanVO.com. Ah, okay. so your, your website is for voiceovers. Yep, BillJordanVO.com. Okay, great. I'm also on LinkedIn. Obviously, that's, right. that's where I found you first. Right. Yeah. I didn't find you on LinkedIn. I saw you on Facebook, but we'll we'll catch up on LinkedIn as well. Okay. okay. And we yeah. all have a, one great mutual friend, Tim Keenan. Yeah. Tim. Yes. We got yeah. to thank Tim for introducing us. Yeah. Introducing I met you. him. Uh, I met him a few years ago at a voiceover conference in Charlotte. I mean, just a brief visit. Stayed in touch through some emails. He sent me some auditions, none that I won. But he still keeps me in mind from time to time, and uh, he's a great guy, and I'm glad he put us together. Yeah, he's one of the most uh, well-respected. He has a uh, a uh, audio uh, a business and does recordings uh, for people all over the world. But uh, in Orange County, he's extremely well known and well respected, and been active helping people for years. But uh, so whenever he mentions somebody like you, we always go take a look. Yeah. Yeah, great guy. Yeah. I appreciate right. it. You want to you wanna, uh, finish us up, John? Uh, I was just going to say uh, thanks again, Bill. Uh, Art, goodbye. Uh, Bill, you're the professional radio guy. Do you ever, did you ever have a radio to sign off uh, to your shows or anything? No, like that? It, just, it just ended or I would tease what was coming up the next day. Okay, tease us. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing tomorrow. Yeah. Well, we're right. going to do practice number 12. I don't know what we're Say goodbye, Bill. I encourage you to follow those, though, seriously, and see if it makes a difference in your life, and then uh, report back to the class. I okay. Will. I will. Thank you. Thank you. So until next time, we uh, thank you for joining us, and uh, uh, hopefully uh, we'll see Live you next week. Live your life, forget your age, and, and embrace the boom. boom. And with that, we wish you all a great day. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.